Welcome back everybody. This is the last lesson we're going to do on unit 8. And now we're going to actually, we've been, we know how to add, subtract, multiply, divide, and solve rational functions. So now the last thing we're going to do is graph rational functions. And first what we're going to talk about are asymptotes. It's a kind of a weird word, but it's just an imaginary boundary. that the graph gets closer and closer to uh, when we're graphing it. So I'm sure you guys have heard about what's going on right now with the whole thing with called flattening the curve. So kind of what that is, is an asymptote. So a lot of times we'll say, hey, you know, we want the graph to look like this and not like this. Well, they say we need to flatten the curve. And the reason for that is because we have this kind of imaginary line right here that's in red. That's an asymptote. We want the graph to approach that line but never exceed it. We never want it to cross. So the form that we're going to have our graph, our equation then, is y equals a over x minus h plus k. We also have vertical asymptotes. Vertical goes up and down and horizontal asymptotes uh, which it goes left and right. So for vertical asymptotes vertical asymptotes, I'm just going to abbreviate here, it is x is equal to h. And for this we just want to set the bottom equal to zero. We have the horizontal asymptote. Which is y equals k. So we just take a look at this last letter and set it equal to y. Uh, the domain is all our x values. And we're going to say it's all real numbers except x cannot be equal to the vertical asymptote. And our range is all the y values. And just like that, we're going to just like the domain, we're going to say it's all real numbers except y cannot be the horizontal asymptote. I know this kind of looks weird right now, but we're going to do a couple examples and hopefully it's going to be a little bit easier. So for number one, I have y is equal to 6 over x. So first I have to label some stuff. The vertical asymptote. we're going to say is x is equal, because vertical is going to be x equals some number. We're going to look at this bottom. If we look, put this equal to 0, we get x is equal to 0. So that means that our domain is all real numbers, except x cannot be 0. So on my graph, I'm going to draw a line at x is equal to 0. And my horizontal asymptote is going to be y is equal to the number that's being added or subtracted here at the end. I don't have anything, so I'm going to put y equals 0. So my range, because it's all the y, range is all y values, I'm going to say all real numbers except whatever the horizontal asymptote is, so y cannot be 0. So I'm going to go on my graph and draw a line there. So right now, those are kind of my boundaries. 
I am never, ever, ever going to be touching those lines. I'm going to get pretty close, but I'm actually never going to touch it. And in order to graph, I need points. So, handy dandy calculator, y equals 6 divided by x, hit graph, and we get these weird lines. It's not showing up on the camera right now. But go second graph, and you get a table full of points. Plot some points. So when x is negative 6, y is 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Negative 1. Um, negative 3, negative 2. And negative 1, negative 6. And it's going to look kind of weird. It's going to approach the line, but it's never going to touch. I also have 1, 6. I have 2, 3. And if you notice, if you look when x is 0, the y value says error, which makes sense because when x is 0, it's on this line right here, this red, this red vertical line, which is an asymptote. We're never allowed to touch it. And 6, 1. Oops, there we go. So it's going to get close. And if you notice, the V2 lines are opposite each other. It's either going to look like this or look like this, but never on top or next to. It has to be fully diagonally across. And this shape is actually known as a hyperbola. Uh, well, we're probably not going to get into that next year. If you get into pre-calc next year, uh, for sure you'll be working with hyperbolas. But all you need to know right now is that it's going to kind of curl off and it's going to get close to the boundary, but never touch. So for number two, I have y is equal to negative 4 over x plus 2 minus 1. So for the vertical asymptote, I'm going to set this bottom equal to 0 x plus 2 equals 0, so I get x is equal to negative 2. So that means for my domain, it's going to be all real numbers, except x could not be negative 2. So on my graph, I'm going to draw a vertical line at negative 2, because we said x is equal to negative 2. And for my horizontal asymptote, I have y is equal to the very last number. I got a negative 1 here. So negative 1. So for my range, it is all real numbers except whatever the horizontal asymptote is. y cannot be negative 1. So I'm going to draw a line at y equals negative 1. Oops. Negative 1, not positive 1. That was dumb. So you can plug in numbers into this formula. Or what you can do is be careful and go into your calculator, go into your y equals, and you can plug this in. But be careful. When you put this in your calculator, 
it's going to look something like this. It's going to be y equals negative 4 divided by parentheses x plus 2. Make sure you put that bottom in parentheses. And then minus 1. If you have a, more than one thing on the top, put in parentheses. If you have more than one thing on the bottom, put that in parentheses. So negative 4 divided by parentheses x plus 2, close my parentheses, minus 1. Put that in your calculator. The second graph, and you get a table full of points. So I'm just going to plot some of these points. I have negative 6, 0. I have negative 4, 1. And to be honest, you only need a couple of points because you can kind of see it's going up. And it's going to look something like this. It's going to kind of hit it, but not exactly. I have 0, negative 3. I have negative 1, negative 5. And I have points, so I can draw some lines, draw a little curve. And if you see, it's diagonal from each other. So it winds up working out. It's not too bad. Um, make sure, probably the hardest part first is figuring out the vertical asymptotes, horizontal asymptotes. And then actually just plugging into the calculator is probably one of the more difficult parts. Uh, please let me know if you have questions. I'm actually really proud of you guys and everything that you've done so far. You guys have been a rock in this e-learning thing. Uh, we are going to have a quiz tomor uh, tomorrow over 8.5 and 8.6. So it's going to be about variations as well as graphing rational functions. Please let me know if you have questions or any concerns about this.